They actually added what's called DynaBeads to those nanoparticle heart drills surrounding the mRNA of snake venom. And it made it even more stable. It made it last longer. It made it easier to get inside of your cells. Do you know what DynaBeads are? Magnetic metal nanoparticles. Well, what about the name Corona? Does it have a Latin definition or a definition at all? So I actually looked up what's the definition. And on dictionary.com, it brings up 13 definitions. Corona, religiously, ecclesiastically, means gold ribbon at the base of a miter. And I didn't know what a miter was. So I copied it and pasted it and then hit images. So this actually could read the Pope's venom pandemic. It also can read crown. Corona means crown also in Latin terms. Corona means crown. Visually, we see kings represented with a crown symbol. Right. So put that together for me. King. Cobra. Venom. It actually could read King Cobra Venom pandemic. I've said this for about a year now that I actually believe this is more of a religious war. That looked like a documentary. All the things you were hearing were just pure undiluted insanity, but it looked like a documentary. He was doing research. He was literally copying and pasting things, and he's been saying it for a year. No, here's the thing. Uh, You expect someone spreading this sort of insanity to, I don't know, be smeared with filth. Like they cleaned him up a little bit, they put him in a suit. And so we're supposed to believe that because they put money into the production value of this documentary, that that made any sense. Anybody that believes what the left believes is absolutely on the side of evil. Some QAnon followers are starting to question this whole thing. It only took like five years. One, in fact, wrote an open letter to Donald Trump expressing some of his frustrations with the conspiracy theory. This is Donnie Warren's letter. It was posted on a Telegram channel of a QAnon adherent Ron Watkins, who I believe is who people think was actually Q. So I feel like he could answer a few questions about this, but they're asking Trump. In the letter, Warren complained that Red October, one of the multiple dates on which leading QAnon proponents promised the alleged cabal members would be rounded up and arrested had not come to pass. So this great storm that's supposed to come constantly and never actually comes. Hey, what, what's going on with that? You keep saying it's gonna come and it isn't. Um, he said, we were given hints by Q experts that November was to be the month. I told a few of my awake friends that either this would be the best Thanksgiving ever or the worst. Guess which one it was. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to know? Did you make like yam casserole, cranberries? <laughs> like it might have been really good Thanksgiving. I don't know. Oh, you're talking about the QAnon thing. <laughs> so bad? I'm guessing bad. He says, for months I have anticipated each day with excitement, knowing that I'm watching my president and his crew of patriots take back our country. And our pre- I'm sorry, I'm just plot. I, I assume he's crying during this. I am losing excitement now. It is starting to get very old. Uh, I will not be checking Lynn Wood's page or George Michael Flynn's or any others for a good while. I'm already tired of it. And also, my family thinks I'm a nut for believing in all this. Well, that's not new, no. dude. That's yep. been around for a while. I can't believe they do this to me. I, f- I feel bad for you. I feel a little bit bad, but like the, the clues have been there. And now yeah. you're years later, you're sending a letter to, to Trump and Putin and Xi Jinping and <laughs> JFK Jr. who died decades ago. Like, <laughs> wake up faster, man. You're taking a long time. I, I get it. I'm groggy after naps too, but like you got to wake up way faster. Than that's that. that's why they that's why they weaponized the word woke. If you wake up, that's a bad thing. If you realize that's a bad thing. If you think that's a bad thing, you notice everything that's positive with realization of your world around you is a negative thing. Barack Obama was a, was a smart guy. He thinks he's better than you. He that's thinks true. you're woke. Look <laughs> at the woke army waking up and saying things that make sense, dummies. I guess it's crazy. It's upside down. I agree. Anyway, well, we'll see if we'll see if more start to to awaken.